pressure coming from the administration, not only on staff, on other bodies, on other authorities. The pressure is incredible. And I will tell you very frankly that the concern that due to this pressure, including supervisors putting pressure on staff members under their supervision, asking them, discouraging them from attending this assembly. And the fact, as mentioned by Ian, that the Whiteboard Administration, the director of HRMD, wrote to her counterparts in the other organizations here in Geneva, which was clearly an attempt to discourage this gathering. So that is why I am so thankful and so appreciative to all of you who had the courage to come out here today and to show your solidarity with not only the president, who as you know has been fired, but also with all staff and their representatives around the entire world because now the entire world has been informed through PIXA, through CISWA, through the different staff associations. I can tell you that the messages are flowing in on a world, global basis. And there, there are numerous additional messages which I saw just before coming here, which I didn't even have the time to, to, to print. I haven't had the time to forward them to the uh, WIPO Staff Association. This is clearly an unprecedented situation. And there's only one way to deal with it, and that is through the solidarity which you have shown here today. And I would like you to know that the letter which was sent by the presidents of the three staff federations who represent nearly the entire uh, staff group of the whole UN common system. This letter has gone to the chair of the White Assemblies, the chair of the White Coordination Committee, all the regional coordinators with request that it be transmitted to every single delegate on every delegation attending the present WIPO assemblies. And I would like you to know that it won't stop there. If that's not enough, we will take it to the next step and it's already happening. So I would just like to say once again, thank you so much to everybody for having displayed the courage to come out here and show your solidarity with us today. Thank you very much.